Oh, cool. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you layers, in particular layers in Infinity Photo. Now, I'm just going to show you the filter options. There's other layers as well, such as adjustment layers, and there's also layer effects and things. But I'm just going to show you just in this video, just the new live filter layer. Now, got the image there. If I just want to apply it just to that, I can just quickly go to layer and new filter live filter layer and say a Gaussian blur. So it's just applied there. And you can see, once you've done that, you can actually see this will drop down and it will show you that blur. You can then just remove it quickly just by selecting that. Or now, if you actually select both, unfortunately, there's no way. You can actually move it above. And the way to do it is not select that because all that does is allows you to name it that blur but you can actually move it above so you've still got the same effect in fact exactly the same effect just applying it to what's below but then you can at least quickly delete it right so that's that done another option a layer and a new layer and i'm just going to add a couple of new layers so i'm just going to quickly another layer there so i've got two layers new pixel layers you see them called pixel again you can just rename it but i'm just going to add blue to that one and the one that's actually below i'm going to apply just a quick yellow so just so you can just apply below as normal right so i've got three layers now one image one and obviously two ones with just a paintbrush now say i want to apply and i'm just going to apply a very visual one here at this point layer and new live fil filter layer twirl filter so then you'll see what happens the twirl filter appears because i had that one selected so if you select that one it actually just goes to that one and i can just quickly show you the effect just double click on that bring up the and i can modify the effect there's the effect applied now if i go up to this one again i can now go layer and new life filter layer and again twirl filter and again that adds to that one just solely to that one none of the other ones are affected so again you can modify that so you can make apply them independently and again you can go down to this one and obviously just quickly do exactly the same right so you can just see the twirl filter there it's, again it goes to that one there now if you actually just you don't want it on that one again you've still got the same problems before you can just quickly remove it of course that way or you can just drag it up the top now you'll notice what happens is the twirl filter is applied to all of the layers so it's above that applied to all and that's the effect for there okay i'm just going to remove that now i don't want that one so i can just delete at that point so you've got these filters what can you do then with them of course you can remove them you can add additional ones so well, i've got that one selected so i want to add a blur just to the top one i can just quickly go there. and you've got all the various blending modes and things you can darken etc you can go quickly through those as well you also see another option and i'm just going to quickly go back because i don't want to go with that one i'm just going to whiz through that and let's start at that point you got here filters now what's the difference between live and just filters one sometimes you look at it and think oh i must apply a filter you shouldn't it's what you should do is the light i think the live wins out every time but there's some looking at it there's obviously a lot more different unusual ones here that are not available as there's only a limited selection hopefully at some point maybe that list will get longer and there'll be a whole range of other options but at the moment there's just a, a small what's it, about 20 or so selection and see so i'll just go back right so filter and I've got that one selected now. I've got the, the yellow one selected. So you can see what happens then. I'll just go for Gaussian Blur and Gaussian Blur. And I can blur it exactly as before with the live one. But this time you'll know, apply. And there is no way of, of changing it. That's it. Applied, finished. The only way you can do is obviously just go back and just remove it. So there's a quick run through of filters, live filters and basically how they work in terms of selecting them and just working on the, that particular layer.
that's the key thing with the whole of these live filters. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much. <laughs>